Yeah, Dan, uh, I'm here at L&M Grocery Store in Boone, and here, just outside these walls here, they also have gas pumps, and Mary Beth Waldman owns this store. It's her only store, and she says the bill as it stands now won't work for her. You know, there's about 1,800, 1,900 gas stations in the state of Iowa. Currently, there's only about 300 that have um, this E85, which good for them. I hope they're doing a great job in selling it. So that means there's a whole lot of gas stations that this affects, and a lot of them are in rural Iowa. And we're small business operators, um, and we're just trying to make a living and support our community and employ people. Now, Waldman says her store here in Boone tries to cater what customers want. She says she's heard no one asking her to sell E85, and if she's required to do that, it could cost her around $71,000 out of pocket uh, to upgrade. And running the numbers, she said it would take her 20 years to break even selling E15. Now, Fuel Iowa is an organization representing those who sell fuel in Iowa. In, for us, it's, it's infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. We are not opposed to selling higher blended fuels. Okay. You know, we have always been engaged in selling higher blended fuels, but when you upgrade to E15 and higher uh, blended fuels, a large number of our membership does not have the infrastructure to do that. And, you know, uh, one of the other reasons that they're opposed to it here in Boone is that they don't understand why the state uh, government would try to tell business owners what they have to sell. And so, like they said, they're, they're not against, uh, you know, renewable fuels at all, but they just don't like the idea that they are being told they have to do it because they feel that that's not what uh, private enterprise and business is all about, Dan. Yeah, we get it. Thank you so much, Roger, for that perspective. Mm -hmm. And no matter what